رمضان تجلى وابتسم طوبى للعبد إذا تنمى رمضان Is there a special reward for imams who rush to complete 30 paras of the Quran, 30 juzu? In taraweeh and tahajjud prayer, is this proven from the sunnah? First of all, it is a sunnah, which is highly recommended for you and I every single month to finish the Quran once at least. Especially in Ramadan, it is more rewarding. So in Ramadan, every Muslim should try to at least finish the whole Quran by reciting one juz a day. Of course, the sky is the limit in the sense that the hadith of Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As, may Allah be pleased with him, the Prophet ordered him to finish the Quran once a month. He said, I can do more. He said, then finish it once every 20 days. He said, I can do more. Finish it once every 10 days. He said, I can do more. Finish it once every week. He says, I can do more. In a narration, he says, finish it once every three days and you cannot understand it if you recite it less than that. So 10 juzu every night would be fine or day and night of Ramadan. So every three days, you read it again and again and again to conclude 10 times a month. This is recommended. However, what a lot of the Imams do when they take it as an obligation to complete the Quran during the month of Ramadan in Taraweeh, this has no basis of for it. Saying it has no basis for it does not mean it's a bid'ah. No, it is something recommended. But to choose quantity over quality is not permissible. What do you mean, Sheikh, by quantity and quality? Ah, this is a very important issue in Islam. And I have a lecture on this. I did it in Peace TV in 2007-2009. You can see it on YouTube, which is quantity and quality. Islam focuses a lot on quality. For example, the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, that the khawarij offer a lot of worship. They pray until you resent your prayer compared to theirs. You resent your fasting compared to theirs. You resent your recitation of the Quran while they recite the Quran, but it does not exceed their uh, uh, throats. The Prophet said, though their quantity is far greater than ours, they, he said that they penetrate the deen like an arrow penetrates a prey. It leaves and goes away. The Prophet described them as the hounds of hell and the worst people killed under the heavens. Though the quantity is far greater than ours, but compare this, their prayers, to the hadith of Uthman. May Allah be pleased with him. When the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, whoever performs perfect ablution like mine and prays two rak'ah, only two. He does not whisper in them. He does not, he's not distracted in them. He has full concentration and submissiveness to Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah would forgive all of his previous sins. Now compare the prayers of the khawarij, a thousand rak'ah maybe, to Two simple rak'ahs, but with quality. So Islam is a religion of quality and not of quantity. 
What does that mean? There is a clip on YouTube. I think it's called the Ferrari Imam. A guy in Turkey is Allah What is this? I cannot even pronounce it. And the way he's praying is seriously not like a Ferrari, maybe like a Lamborghini. It's so fast if you speak about speed, maybe it's a Tesla, from 0 to 60 in 2.2 seconds. What is this? He says, Wallahi, yaqi, this guy's taraweeh, and I hear this in Ramadan. Where are you praying taraweeh tonight? Allah, I'm praying in this masjid. Oh, I'm praying in that masjid. A guy says, hmm, I'm going to downtown in the souk area. There is this imam, subhanallah, Isha, plus 11 rak'ahs of uh, taraweeh, he does this all in 12 minutes. 12 minutes? What kind of prayer is this? Allah, I could care less. I just want to pray taraweeh. And it's quick and easy. No, this is not the right approach. The imams who recite the Quran, though they are hafiz, but they, because they want to wrap up things quickly, you do not taste the Quran they're reciting. They're so quick. Sometimes, us Arabs find it difficult to distinguish the words they are reciting because it's too quick. There's no taste for, for, for the Quran we're reciting. It's just bowing and prostrating and with no spirit in it. No, I'd rather pray behind someone who reads 10 verses per rak'ah. Yet he prays it with nice tajweed, with nice paste. I can feel the Quran. I can understand. It penetrates my heart. I find result of what I'm hearing rather than praying behind someone who is a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, or even a Porsche.